Ladies and gentlemen, I have brought you here to this site, Penn's Hill. Of course, it is a pro part of the property upon my farm here today uh, because I would like to reminisce with you about the battle that ensued on this day. Uh, now it is being called the Battle of Bunker Hill. Uh, and it is from here that I watched that battle and also witnessed the city of Charlestown burn to the ground. It was approximately three in the morning when I was awoken in my chambers by a loud rattling, what I thought to be a thunder shower. So again, I went to inspect, I went to my window, opened it wide and gazed to the heavens. But what I saw was no tempest, no thunder, no lightning, just kept hearing this booming sound. So I wanted to investigate farther. I grabbed my eight-year-old son, John Quincy, uh, and the two of us, we walked as we came up on our large stagecoach today uh, to the top of this hill here. But when we got to the top, our view in the distance was not as it normally was. It was not so beautiful. Instead, we realized the booming we were hearing indeed was the battle of what is now called the Battle of Bunker Hill. And in the distance, we saw an orange glow. That was the city of Charlestown burning to the ground. Now, indeed, my tears mingled with those of my son on that day, just watching in horror uh, as the city burned. We knew many of our friends might possibly be killed. And indeed, ladies and gentlemen, we discovered only a day later that our dear friend, Dr. Joseph Warren, indeed, um, had been killed at that battle. He was a general in the battle. One of the key players there. Uh, oh, this gentleman has produced a likeness very quickly of Mr. Warren. Uh, a bloody battle. Uh, we had roughly 2,500 colonial soldiers and the British had upwards of 3,000 soldiers under, uh, of course, General Howe. We lost that battle. Does anybody know why? Bullets. Indeed, sir. We ran out of ammunition. I immediately went to take action and I myself took it upon myself uh, to make and create thousands of bullets for the Continental Army in my own home. But I tried to take in um, and bring back to health some Continental Army soldiers that uh, had escaped the British occupation of Boston and the Battle of Bunker's Hill. This is considered treasonous. If anybody were ever to find out that I helped these men, I could, at the worst, be hanged. Uh, so I'm sure you will all keep my secret today.